Hello friends, I really hope you're doing well, and since the new year is just around the corner, I thought I could share 5 things that we can do to start it on the right foot. Now, this might be a sort of alternative to the common New Year's resolutions and we will tackle several areas such as your home, your tech, your to-do list, your mind and your closet. But before we begin, do not forget to hit the little subscribe button. Now, without further ado, let's get started. My first idea is to make a yearly review and start an accomplishment book. So instead of the usual New Year's resolutions, why not make something different? Maybe instead of focusing on the things that we have not yet accomplished and of punishing ourselves or maybe setting really high standards, let's take some time to change things up. Grab a nice cup of tea or coffee of your preference, put on some nice music, maybe even light a little candle and take some time to make a revision of the past year. You can write this down on a piece of paper or journal or if you prefer, just grab your computer and start typing. Here are some of the questions that I feel kind guide you. What were the good things about this year that is ending? Which things made you feel joy and happiness? What are you grateful for? Is there anything you learned, liked or enjoyed about it? Was there any especially difficult moment that you overcame and that helped you to grow or become stronger? Regarding your job or studies, was there something that you feel proud of? Is there any relationship that grew stronger during this year or someone that just puts a smile on your face? Take some time to think about this in a quiet space where nobody interrupts you. It is your me time, so just enjoy it. Now, having gone through the things that you liked and that you found positive, try, but with no harsh or super judgmental eyes, to think about the things that you wish were different for the next year. Now, here is another idea. One thing that I really want to start doing is completing an accomplishment book. So the main principle of this is quite simple. Every day I want to write down the little accomplishments and the things that I am proud of. It can be anything, even silly things like, for instance, today I managed to go for a walk, or today I was kind and I minded my words, or today I was patient, today I did great at work, or whatever you feel like, basically. Many of us tend to be very, very harsh on ourselves and we forget to look at the small changes or improvements in our lives, since we are kind of constantly thinking of the bigger picture. So let's just take three minutes per day to counteract that. And this is really one of the habits that I want to start doing on a regular basis. Moving forward, we come to closet decluttering and organization. Receiving the new year with a freshly cleaned and organized closet is so, so nice. And I really have to admit that I try to keep my closet organized at all times, but sometimes you kind of really need to dedicate a special afternoon to put extra care and love into this. Maybe you can start by decluttering and letting go of all of those pieces that you have been thinking of getting rid of for some time, things you haven't worn in ages or things that no longer fit you or that are maybe broken, have holes, you name it, all of those clothes that you know with certainty that you won't be using any longer. Once you go through this step, or maybe you did not have many things in the first place, you can just take some time to organize your wardrobe. I recommend you to follow a certain organization plan. For instance, you know many people like to kind of color coordinate clothing, they organize it by type, or maybe others even combine these two techniques, which is kind of what I do. I especially like to put away all of the off-season items and I also enjoy creating a sort of capsule wardrobe. It is my way of making sure that I am wearing things that make me feel good and I really like the concept that I once invented which is to shop your closet. Meaning that you can just take some time to browse your clothing collection, just selecting those pieces that will accompany you for the current season. I feel that having your closet organized and cleaned is such a nice way to start the year and it is a little gift to myself that I enjoy preparing. 
the experience of getting dressed and picking your outfits is so much more luxurious when I do this. Now the next point is to take your to-do list and to empty it out. Let's face it, we all have some items in our to-do list that have been sitting there for quite a while and what a better thing to do than to take a weekend to cross them out and to start the year with a fresh list. I personally feel that the longer a task sits in my to-do list, the more reluctant I am to complete it just because I have seen it way too many times. Maybe batch completing these tasks is a great idea and makes the process a lot less painful or boring and you might even want to make a sort of challenge with yourself so that these are completely finished and crossed out at the end of the allotted weekend. And of course, some of your tasks might need some more time to be completed or even depend on another person, but at least you want to make sure to take the first step. For instance, if you need to kind of gather information to do another of your tasks, you might just want to start by sending the first email or maybe contacting that person or doing a bit of research, whatever you need. So overall, you have to remember not to be discouraged if for some reason you cannot completely empty your to-do list. Remember, any progress will be fantastic. Now the new year always sounds like some time for renovation. One idea is to take some time to refresh your home and to clean it. And in our everyday or maybe weekly cleaning routines, we sometimes forget to reach certain spots. We all know them. Maybe it's just time to even throw the cushions into the washing machine, maybe clean curtains, shoes, hard to reach spots and more. Anything you can do to organize and clean your home to welcome the new year is nice. And maybe it's just your pantry, your fridge, your bathroom cabinets, nightstand, desk, whatever. I really like to be at home and I particularly enjoy being in an organized and clean space. It is just comforting to me, so every time I get to clean and organize it, I feel I am doing something that will make me feel better, be more productive, be less visually tired and more. It's important to establish systems rather than just organizing, so maybe creating a system for a specific part of your house is a good idea. Because let's face it, just doing surface cleaning or making things look nice won't last for long without a proper organization system underneath. So focus on the foundation of your building and make it solid. It will be easier to build on top of that. Last but not least, my friends, we come to decluttering our tech. We have now paid attention to material possessions, but it is also a good idea to declutter our tech world. And I feel this is something that we should do once in a while, since pictures and files tend to pile up on our devices really quickly. When was the last time you cleaned your downloaded files? What about the pictures on your phone? How about work or study files or maybe emails? Yes, the most probable thing is that you also have a bit of clutter in these areas. And I have to say that this is not yet a habit of mine, but I am working to someday be able to do a monthly declutter of all of these things at the beginning of each month. So my idea would be, for instance, to go through my pictures and to erase those that I do not feel that are good and to only keep a selected but precious amount of them. And I later want to store them in a correspondent folder, both keeping a copy in a hard drive and also one in the cloud. So besides being this a great thing to do, you will make sure to keep your files protected and safe from any possible thing that can happen. Another great thing that we sometimes forget to do is to go through our phone apps and to delete those that we have not used in a while. I like to keep my phone pretty minimal, but since I started this new job, I have found myself with more apps than I need and my phone is definitely cluttered. Maybe it's a good time to start decluttering those too. So my friends, these were my super easy 5 things to do before the new year and I feel they might sound small but I better commit to small and accomplishable things than to super optimistic and impossible to reach ones. 
and by the way i really hope you can start the new year with the best energy i feel we all have a lot of problems and things to deal with in our lives but it's also nice to take some time to reflect to be grateful and to reset our space and tech Please let me know which of these things you will implement, if not all. And also remember, you can follow me on Instagram. You can subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And lastly, you can help me out by becoming a patron and supporting my work. All of my love. I hope to see you next time. And please stay simple.